Hey friends, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you what is going on with Hello Web App right now since it is officially in uh, in design, in InDesign, which kind of sounds a little funny. Um, so there's only like 72 hours left in the Kickstarter campaign, so please keep sharing. Um, it's going super well, almost to 11,000, really hoping I can get to 12. Uh, and the book is still on time to get to the printer so we can get it out by December, which is super exciting. And half of that has to do with designing the book. Um, so I write in Markdown, and I'll show you what that file looks like. This is going to be really small. Um, come here, you. Become bigger. There we go. Maybe you can see that in the video now. Um, so this is what I write the, the book in. It's all in Markdown. Um, and then I can take these Markdown files and I, I actually copy paste them pretty much into Google Drive or Google Docs. And that's where editing happens because it makes it easy for me to share with people and, uh, and get their suggestions and feedbacks through Google Docs uh, suggestion feature, which is pretty cool. Problem is I can't, that's not like the live version. So every time a change is made, I have to go uh, take the change and put it into these Markdown files, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, and so that's like two things that are updating for the book. And then when I move it into InDesign, all of a sudden now I have three versions of the book. So anytime a change happens, I have to go into all three of these, um, versions of the book and change it. Uh, so they all stay consistent, which is a pain in the butt. Um, so that aside, uh, I'm able to take those markdown files and yesterday I imported it into, get to that in a second, imported it into, in design and you can see that it looks this is after like 12 hours of me working on it yesterday which is super fun for me um looks pretty good because i'm using the same design files i did from the first book uh, because it's a follow-up book i feel okay with doing that um if i did hello web design i probably would update the colors and whatnot to kind of differentiate the book from the rest of the series but since this is a literally a follow-up book it's the exact same design files, which saves me a lot of time. And it looks pretty good. Um, you know, things like this all got imported in nicely. Uh, the Markdown importer allows me to create paragraph styles, and I can say, like, this paragraph you can see is just text, if you can see how small that is going to be. Um, and I can do things like say, no, this paragraph is code instead and it applies all the styles and everything they have um, which saves me so much time unfortunately all the code bits had imported and they looked awful I think they looked like oh, no they didn't look like that for some reason they didn't get imported into the right paragraph style so yesterday was majority of it was starting to format all these code bits which is eh, kind of was kind of expected um, there's a lot to do. This is totally not done. Uh, there's a lot of typographic things like, not even on this page, but um, there's a lot of like places where like that needs to be in styled like code. I don't know why that's text. Um, images all have to be redone. You can kind of see, I wanna turn on the, the resolution here. It's still super blurry. Uh, because this was just, you know, I just took really silly screenshots for when I was writing a book, um, and now I need to go through and create print-ready ones. Um, but, you know, it's like 80% there. Um, now it's just like fixing all the little things. And one of the big things I've been doing differently on this one is that uh, if you have the first Hello Web app, um, the table of contents only had the chapter names, and this time I am adding in the subheadlines, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is not designed. Only thing I did was used um, InDesign's automatic table of contents feature to bring in all the headlines. So all these num there's numbers everywhere here um, that will be removed and changed and made designy and pretty. But you can see that now the table of contents spans multiple pages, um, and I think it'll be a little more useful for people who are just browsing. Now, in terms of the size of the book. 
I am at right now 155 pages. Uh, I have not added an index. Um, I haven't added any of the back matter, what do we call it, pages, like the about the author. Um, and I haven't added the page that goes through all the links. I haven't done the links yet. Um, let's see if I can show you a, an example. Not that one. Where are you? Do, do, do. I chose a bad place to look for links. There we go. All of these links are going to be Hello Web App links um, through redirect. Um, so that's not a big thing I have to do. So there's going to be a whole page at the end of the book that says what these links are. And that hasn't been added, but I'm at 155 pages. I'm expecting it to be about 180. And the original Hello Web app was 144. So this book will be larger. Um, it's not as larger as I, as I thought. It's almost 10,000 more words than the first book. Um, and that has to do that a lot of these tutorials this time around have less images. Because um, we're intermediate, you know, uh, for an intermediate concepts book, there's actually a lot more in terms of theory um, and just plain text instead of images, which really beef out a book. So it's longer than the first Hello Web app, a lot more words, um, but pages wise, it's not that much longer because there's just a lot more text, as you can see in these pages. Um, again, 99%, I mean, 90% design, but there's still a lot of little things in here. So for people watching this video and see an error, hopefully I will catch that by the time it goes to print. But I'm working on that um, today and tomorrow and the next day. So that is a preview of the new Hello Web App book. Thank you to everyone who has backed the campaign so far. Please keep sharing. Like I said, there's like less than two days left in the campaign. I'm really hoping to get to 12,000. Uh, so please keep sharing. Help me get there. Um, in the meanwhile, I hope you enjoy this little screencast.